And joining me now is Mr. Matt Schistler. He is the CEO of Cord Blood America Incorporated, stock symbol CBAI. Matt, welcome. Hey, Don. Thanks for having me back. Really impressed how quickly you got into that chair, too, so I want to thank you for that. <laughs> now, Matt, it's uh, been a little while since we've had you on, about a month or so. Why don't you tell us again what the company does? Sure. We, um, Don, we store umbilical cord blood stem cells. That is, families pay us to store the stem cells for the use for their child's use and only their child's use. A lot of people ask what are stem cells and what do they do? And just real simply, stem cells are used to battle diseases such as cancers and leukemias. And so why a family pays to store the child's stem cells from the umbilical cord is that those stem cells in the umbilical cord are a perfect match for the child so that if the child would ever happen to contract a life-threatening disease, they have their own source of stem cells to battle them. Now this week in the news, just a couple of days ago, there was a story about a young lady who the doctors were able to build her a new larynx That's right. from stem cells. I mean, that is remarkable. Yeah, there's just some amazing things going on right now with stem cells. That happens to be one of them. They actually used um, stem cells from bone marrow, which are the same form of stem cells that, that are in the umbilical cord, to rebuild the larynx t tissue. And essentially, without getting too scientific, the stem cells took the form of the larynx, regrew the tissue, and now it's fairly functional. Now, I guess, you know, we talked about this before, we always want to differentiate the stem cells that we're talking about with your company and the ones that have been controversial in the past, correct? That's correct. A yeah, great segue, actually. Um, you know, the embryonic stem cells are the stem cells that we do not play with. Um, we, we store adult stem cells from the umbilical cord. Um, embryonic stem cells, which tends to be the political hot potato, if you will, um, it, which causes the controversy, is not part of what our company does. Now, Don, we did just recently put out some press you know, praising, if you will, the new administration for their support of embryonic stem cell research. This is, we were very, very careful to tell our investors that we're not involved in embryos, but the more the United States can fund stem cell research, whatever form it may be, the faster companies like ours are able to, to, to grow um, as new therapies get to market. Now, for parents who are considering uh, storing their child's umbilical cord blood, I mean, you know, my daughter's seven years old. When, when she was born, that was not even made available to us. Is it an education process? You know, it really is. Um, it, it starts with uh, the, the consumers themselves, the parents, learning more about stem cells. And they're, they're finding more and more ads in magazines and on the Internet and so forth. They're also getting education at the doctor's offices, birthing classes, and the hospital. But still, by and large, most of the United States doesn't have any sort of formal education process. That being said, Don, we're seeing more and more hospitals creating formal programs with cord blood. An example is a hospital that we work with in, in Pittsburgh, McGee Hospital, that it initiated a formal cord blood program to which we're part of. And you're seeing tremendous results of, of, of percentages of families that are storing stem cells because of that. Cord Blood America, CBAI is a stock symbol. Uh, for more information, give us a call, 888-259-4449. Uh, Matt, always a pleasure. Thanks, Don.